I see so many videos online about you should be this, you should be that, this is how you should hold frame, this is how you gotta talk to the girls for them to respect you, and all these different things. However, you have to take into account the individual. Who is the person that is communicating with the world? Not even just with the women, but also with the world, right? You have to understand that with women, they are only going to be submissive and give the highest level of respect to a man that they can perceive is worthy of that submission, is worthy of that respect, right? So you have three types of individuals specifically that come to my mind, right? You have the guy that's just holds the lowest level of value of himself in his mind, right? There's a very famous quote, and you could say it's cliche, you can say it's not, but it's fucking true. He who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. And one of the things that women find massively attractive is confidence, right? So if you're the type of person that thinks that you can't because you have a very low self-estimation of yourself, the value that you hold yourself in, in your mind, how you perceive yourself, if that value is really low, he who says he can and he, who's, he who says he can't are both usually right, then you are going to go through your conversations and through your interactions with women communicating that. And that's going to communicate low confidence, that's going to communicate that you don't believe in yourself, that you don't believe in the relationship that you would have with this woman, and that you don't believe that you can guide her and lead her and provide her the level of masculinity that she intrinsically craves. Therefore, your time with women is going to be a lot harder than the man that thinks that he can. However, let's not skip the line, right? Because we'll, we'll get to the men that are actually gaining the attraction and, and gaining the validation and actually winning with women, right? Then you have the second type of man, right? And the second type of man, this person thinks that he can. However, the problem with this guy is that he's not necessarily doing the things that are making him congruent with that perception of himself, right? So for example, if I'm talking to myself, and I mean, I do have a fucking six pack, right? But if I didn't, right, and I was consistently telling myself, I have a six pack, I have a six pack, I have a six pack, and I'm not fucking going to the gym, no matter how many times I tell myself I have a six pack, I'm not going to fucking have a six pack, right? And now I just look like a fucking asshole walking around the world thinking that, saying that, and now when the woman is looking at you, they're like, well, he's talking all this game. But when I look at him, he's incongruent as fuck. What does incongruent mean? What you say and what you do and who you are don't align. And that's what's wrong with the second person, right? Sometimes it's even worse than this person because at least this person, shit, you, can, you, you know what to expect from this person. This other guy, he's just bullshitting his way through life. And that's not respectable, right? Nobody's gonna respect that. And that's what makes women run away from this type of guy. Now, the third type of person is the man that's actually congruent with his value and he has the proper mindset, right? He who says he can, he who says he can't are both usually right. Now, this person thinks that he can and then he goes out there and fucking does it, right? Now, this person is gonna be more confident. Now, here's the thing too, because there's a lot of guys that are impressive you could say in their field however when it comes to speaking with women they just shit on themselves because they don't believe that the value that they've accumulated throughout their life translates into women right into speaking with a woman confidently and you have to be able to hold the proper frame and have the proper self value so that you can actually have the respect from the women and have the the, the submission right? That every dominant masculine man craves because that's what men want from women, right? Men, men want a woman that understand that they fucking worked for that value. Now, even if they don't consciously understand that they're capable of respecting that man because she intrinsically knows that this is a different caliber of man. Now, the modern day issue is that you have 
social programming, right? And then you have natural programming. Social programming is what people are saying. People getting together and saying, this is how it should be. Natural programming and natural conditioning is what we were born with intrinsically. Me as a man and, and you as a woman, biologically, we're different, right? Biologically, we're different. Therefore, psychologically, we're different, right? We're going to be attracted to different things, right? That's why a woman is attracted to a man and a man is attracted to a woman on a larger scale, right? Now, I know that we have all kinds of fucking people walking around, but on average, that's, that's what the fuck it is. In general, that's the highest percentage, right? Men are attracted to women and women are attracted to men, right? So now that we have that basis, now we have to understand, okay, well, what is the social conditioning that is programming the people to think a certain way? Well, the social conditioning is they're programming to think, to, to tell the women, okay, you're beautiful, right? You have a chance at life. Nothing wrong with that. That's all good. However, here's what I have a problem with that is messing with the world and messing with society. And, and this is, there are so many variables and there's, there are, it, it's a nuanced issue and we're going to go into all of that, right? The problem is, is that now these women that are capable of being with a man that's actually going to take care of them and that they actually respect and that's going to love them and it's going to help them elevate in life, they're fucking it up because now they think, well, I have to be this boss babe you can't tell me what to do type of girl. And now that's driving away the men that have worked all their fucking life to earn the level of status, the level of value, the level of game, charisma, wits, being able to take you on that emotional adventure and that fantasy that you crave as a woman, right? Now that man is looking at you as you don't value what's in front of you because you're used to speaking to guys the way that this guy is perceived in society. The first guy, the guy that thinks he can't, the guy that thinks low of himself, the guy that's not confident, the guy that's worthless. So when you treat the third guy, right, the man that thinks he can and actually goes out there and fucking do it, as this guy, the loser, the guy that's not doing shit in life and is not confident and is okay with being pushed around in life and being a fucking doormat, what ends up happening is now this guy doesn't want you. He may use you. He may fuck you, but he's not going to stay in a relationship with you, right? This guy is trying to get you, but you don't want him because you see the fluff. You see that he's not congruent. It's fake. It's a facade and you can see through that. Now, this guy, this is the guy that everybody says that you should be with. Oh, that's the good guy. The guy that thinks low of himself, the guy that doesn't have the healthy aggression and the capability that a man should have to be able to protect his bloodline, to be able to stand for what he believes, to be able to actually naturally excite you, which is what you crave as a woman, right? So now when you treat this guy like this guy, you can't get any of them because even if you get with the guy that thinks low of himself, regardless of his size and who he is and how he looks, because he may look great. However, his frame and where he's mentally at could be very, very small to his physical appearance. It could be anybody, right? So now you're looking at this person and you're not excited by him. You're not attracted to him because you're told that you should now look for the good guy, right? But you don't even know what the fuck the good guy is. So you'll go for this guy thinking that it's the good guy, yet you're gonna be bored. You're not excited. He doesn't turn you on as much. So now you'll end up cheating on this guy with this guy. And then you wish to be taken serious by this guy, but you keep treating him like this guy. So there's this miscongruence. That, and, and now this is why so many women are unhappy and so many men are just, I mean, shit. Once you're at this level, you have a variety of options. So you will get the women that mentally aren't there yet because of their social programming and because of the ego that they believe that they have to upkeep. And then you'll have the women that are genuinely feminine and that are okay with submitting to their feminine qualities, which makes them actually a powerful woman, right? When we're speaking about powerful women, if we're, if we're speaking about empowering women, then what we should be teaching women is to be feminine, 
right? And how to be more feminine and men how to be more masculine. To think that you can, to actually go out there and do it, to build your value, to make more money, to have a stronger presence, right? To stand up for what you believe in. Those are the values that we should be teaching the, the men and, and, and the value that we should be teaching the women is to be feminine, right? However, there's a big problem when those natural values are misaligned and you're told things that don't necessarily work for your benefit and keep you on track with this cycle of confusion. Why can't I ever get what I want? Because you see, you're told that the men that are telling you, hey, this is what I want, because again, this kind of guy is going to want to own his woman because he's, that, that's, what, that's what masculine men are like. They're dominant. They're territorial. What's mine is mine, period. So if I view the world like that because everything that I've ever wanted in my life, I've worked for and I've earned, and now you're telling me no, but I have a variety of options, I don't have to stick with you, right? And now those men that are not sticking with you because they know that they can work for anything they want and they can earn the level of respect that they crave from a woman and they end up going with that other girl, now you're wondering, what am I doing wrong? Or even worse, you're putting yourself in a delusion, thinking to yourself, shit, well, it's his fault, he lost out, blah, 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 whatever. And you're stuck in this cycle and years are going by and you're not capable of finding the right man. And it's the same thing for the guy. It's the same thing for the guy. The guy that thinks he can't and is not going out there and actually doing the things that he needs to do, but first having the proper frame and knowing that you can work for anything you ever wanted in life. This guy is gonna stay there if he doesn't adapt to this belief system that's actually going to empower him to become the best version of himself. Same thing with this guy, because these two people have the same problem. This guy, I mean, shit, it's even worse to know that you can and then still not doing it. Bro, that's fucking terrible. That's actually even worse than this guy, right? In my fucking opinion. So here's the point. The point is, is as a man, anything you want is available. You have to live with an abundant mindset. However, you have to work for it, right? And if you're not having the aura, when you step out into the world where women are captivated by your status, by your presence, by who you are, not even just status, not even who you know and how famous you are and how much money you are, just by your presence. If women don't feel your presence is because you haven't been going hard on yourself. You haven't been going out there and actually accumulating the value that this man has. So you have to get to fucking work because you're not there yet. It's not to hate on the world. It's not to hate on the women. It's not to hate on anybody because now that places you in a victim mindset, which is the problem with these kinds of people because they think that they deserve something that they don't. Let's, let me tell you something. You don't deserve anything you don't fucking have. And if you don't fucking have it, it's because you haven't fucking earned it yet. That's the fact. So work for it because that's what this guy's doing, right? And now this guy is jealous at this guy, and so is this guy, right? Because they're wondering, well, shit, why can't I have what he has? Because this guy's doing the fucking work. That's why, right? And the work gets recognized. People know when you're on your grind and when you're not. People know, right? And you know what? You also know. So it's up to you to fix that so that you can start to receive the attention from the women that you actually want in your life and that you're actually attracted to, right? So that you can be the guy that has that respect because he's earned it, right? We all heard respect is earned. Yeah, it is. You have to earn that respect, right? And for the women, listen, because it's so funny because you're told that the guy that's telling you what to do is insecure and it, it, well, what I will say is too, is it all depends who's telling you what to do, right? Because it's, if it's the guy that you genuinely love and that you're, you're building a life with, and he's looking at the relationship dynamic as I'm the head of the house, because I'm a hundred percent responsible for you. Should anything happen to you, I'm responsible for you. I'm willing to put my life on the table 
for you. If anything were to go down outside, I'm risking my life. If anything were to happen anywhere, I'm risking my life for you because that is the the commitment that you make to each other. I'm the man, you're the woman, right? Now, if you're if you don't like that and you're going to treat him as if he doesn't have any decisions over you, then what's going to happen? He's going to be disinterested in you because he's very secure of himself. It's not an insecurity. In fact, it's the men that are letting you do whatever you want that are insecure because they're afraid of losing you. They're afraid of telling you how they actually feel because guess what? They don't perceive themselves valuable enough for, for you to actually listen to them. So now they're going to keep their mouth shut and they're not going to put you in your place. And you're thinking to yourself, man, I wish this guy just fucking put me in my place. I wish this guy just fucking said something. Why is this guy such a fucking pushover? Because he doesn't have the mindset. He doesn't have the frame. And when the right guy comes along and is telling you what the fucking, what to do, and you actually like this guy, are excited by this guy, want to build a future with this guy, right? Then your best bet is to listen to him. Now, I'm not saying that to listen to any ridiculous requests that he may make, let's say, I don't know the fucking guy. However, it's in your best interest to allow the leadership of the man that you chose because you chose that man. You said to yourself, I chose this man to lead me towards the water, right? To lead me towards the best version of myself. That's, that's the kind of mindset that you have to continue to adapt in a relationship. Now, should that man get complacent, you're going to feel it. You, your body is going to communicate with you. And should he start to fail the tests in life that he is designed to pass, to stay as the most optimal, you can say, source of survival for you, as the most optimal and the best man that you can possibly grant yourself based on who you are as a woman, right? If you're right, you're right. If you're wrong, you're wrong. However, don't make it difficult for yourself and for the relationship by disobeying the man that you chose because society said that you shouldn't listen to him because you should be this independent boss, babe, and not take his orders, and he's your man because this kind of guy is not gonna put up with that shit. Maybe this guy will. Maybe this guy will because shit, finally they get a piece of pussy, but this guy won't. This guy won't. And guess what? This is the kind of guy that women want. Now, it's not about having sex. Yeah, that's a big part of it, of course. The bedroom is a massive part of it, right? However, it's about retaining that relationship and having the quality of relationship that you actually want because that's what's actually important. So there's a lot of things that we can talk about in regards to this specific topic, right? However, I'll leave it off with this because I don't want to make this video longer than it should be, right? I think everybody gets the fucking point. The point is, is that for men, you have to fix your fucking mindset. You have to start thinking differently. You have to start thinking more that you actually can and not just staying there, but going out there and actually doing it, right? Being able to be the best man that you can be, being as capable as you can be, making as much money as you can make, making as many connections, leveling up with your communication, right? Understanding how to lead with your communication, with your presence. It's very, very important for a man, right? And just building yourself up as much as you can, right? Because that's what's going to attract the bees to the honey. And now for the women, man, don't let society teach you how to be a good woman. Because a lot of the times that advice is stopping you from reaching greatness. That advice is actually keeping you from the relationship that you actually want to have. And the reason why that is, is because now you're thinking to yourself, oh, well, I got to do this because that's what the sisterhood said I should do because I got to keep this frame. Well, that frame is going to keep you unhappy because no matter how hard you try to be this girl that, oh, nobody could tell me what to do. I don't need anybody. I don't need no man. If you just keep that frame up, guess what's going to happen to you? You're not going to have a fucking man. Because now you're basically taunting the universe and taunting nature and saying, I don't need to listen to your rules. I'm bigger than you. I think I'm bigger than life. So guess what? The universe is now going to come down 
and say, oh yeah, let's see how, how long you can keep this up. And guess what? That's not a game that you should fucking play because it's your life and you can never fucking get time back. So you better straighten the fuck up, right? I'm going to go ahead and cut this off, all right? Go out there and do something fucking great. You heard it here first. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think. I'm open to anybody's opinions and anybody's comment to debate anybody on this matter because I know that this is the truth.